In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a code approved exterior outlet in a home that has a brick exterior. First, we'll start with a few tools you may need. This is a four inch grinder with a diamond wheel. It's perfect for cutting brick and concrete. Once we make our cuts, we're going to finish the job with this chisel. Now let's take a little bit closer look at the hole I cut. Using my outlet box as a reference, I just marked the width a quarter inch larger on the brick, and then I cut the mortar on the left side, top side, and bottom side. Then I just had to cut the brick on the right hand side, and I used the chisel to finish it off. And then I'm left with this nice clean hole. Before we get started, let's take a look at the materials we'll need. We'll need an outlet box rated for wet locations, a weather resistant GFI outlet, and an in use work cover. We also might need some electrical tape, a grounding screw, and a Romex connector. A few quick notes, our outlet box is made out of metal as opposed to plastic, and I think that's superior if you're going to install it in brick like we are here. And also this in-use work cover, this is pretty much required by code now. You have to be able to be able to plug in a plug outside and have it protected by any kind of water. Before I drilled into the house, I used that water spigot as a reference point. So when I drilled my hole here, I double checked in the basement and made sure that there wasn't any water lines or power lines that I was going to run into. So you can see I already drilled my holes in my floor joist, so now I'm ready to run my wire. Here's a quick look at the panel. I am installing a dedicated 20 amp breaker for this outlet. Uh, so basically the homeowner can feel free to plug in whatever she wants out there without any worries. Now I'm prepping the outlet box, getting ready for it to install. These areas I don't need, it comes with these little plugs uh, that keeps things watertight. And since the power is gonna come through the back, I put in this little electrical connector I fish the wire through and then I cinch it down. So you heard me mention that metal boxes are best for brick installations and that's true, but you just have to make sure that you ground the box. You see that I'm using the grounding screw that's provided in this box and you wrap the ground wire around it and then you cinch it down. With that ground wire secured, we can cut our wire to size. I like to leave about six to eight inches and then we can also strip the tips of the wire. I leave about a quarter of an inch. All right, so now it's time to hook up our wires to our GFI. You'll notice that there is a group of screws marked the line. A great way to remember this is line or in. Power coming in goes to the line side and power going out is the load side. Since this is just a dedicated outlet, we have one group of wires that's going to the line side. So we hook the black wire up to the black or gold screw and then we hook the white wire or neutral wire up to the silver screw. We hook the ground wire up to the ground screw and then we're just gonna accordion the wires into the outlet box so the GFI will fit. All right, so it's time to install the in-use work cover. Now we're gonna install the fitting for the GFI outlet. They also have fittings for a switch or a standard outlet. And so this just clicks into place and to secure the in-use work cover and the outlet, you do it all at once with these screws you just tighten the screws up and that's all there is to it. Now everything's pretty much installed. We're almost there. Before we mortar this thing into place, we're just gonna test fit it and make sure that the power works properly. Now I've seen other installations where people will just drill a small hole through the wall and mount the entire box outside. And that's fine, that'll work. But I think cutting out a brick, even though it's more work, it's a, a nicer install. All right, it's time to mix up some mortar. I have some sand in my little coffee container and I'm adding mortar. I'm gonna mix it up to the consistency of peanut butter. Now, I would avoid at all costs using any kind of uh, mortar that's in caulk tubes. It's best just to buy some pre-mixed mortar or um, you know, if you're an overachiever, you can mix it yourself. The ratio is about, you could do half or you know, three parts sand, one part mortar. For such a small job, it doesn't really matter. We're going to install it so our metal outlet box is inside that brick cavity and then our in-use cover is on the outside. So now it's time to tuck point. You can use your fingers. Uh, I have a little tuck pointer here that I'm trying to apply a little bit of mortar. And the thing you don't want to do is basically what I'm doing here, you don't want to smear it. Wow, what an amateur. So then once everything dries up a little bit, we can clean everything up with a wire brush. We'll just clean it up nice, nice. And for our final touch, you can see where the in-use cover and the outlet box meet. There's a small gasket, but we're gonna seal it up with some silicone so it's watertight. Also, you can change the location of how this door swings. You just pop out the hinges and then pop them in new. So now that the hinges are in place, you can see how it works. So we can plug something in, keep it nice, safe and dry. Hey, thanks for watching. 
You can buy any of this stuff at a big box store, but I'll provide affiliate links. Do appreciate it. Hit me up with any questions you got and then uh, subscribe. See you later.